so I decided to play Portal 2 with a toaster. That means that I literally controlled the game with a machine made to toast bread. And, well, here's how I did it. This here is a toaster. Dear God. There's more. No. Behind the toaster, you'll see here, is what I call the spaghetti monster. It is a bunch of wires, a bunch of sensors, a clustered microcontroller, cables, basically everything you need to control Portal 2 with a fucking kitchen appliance. I think we've like reached the peak of stupidity with this one. We actually fucking modded a toaster to play Portal 2. Right? Here we go. That feels so stupid. I've only got like five buttons-ish. Not even buttons, but basically five inputs that I can control. So there's, you'll, you bet there's a lot of stuff that's layered on top of each other. Which is why I was saying this feels a lot like controlling a spaceship once you have to do more complex stuff. And then here, we'll switch layers by pulling out the crumb tray. And then if I press the button, that's the stop button on the side of the toaster, it'll pick up this cube. Then I can put back the crumb tray to move back into like movement mode. And then I can, f I can turn off the, the baguette holder at the top here, which turns me left. Press the lever, moves me forward, turn right a little bit, go back into crumb tray mode, press the button. <laughs> Holy shit. I haven't modified the internals of this. So if I wanted to, I could toast bread with this. It would just probably melt some of the stuff that's on it. So when I was saying that shooting a portal is rocket science, I wasn't joking. So you need to pull out the crumb tray, lower the croissant holder, and then pull the trigger, then undo that to walk forward. Here we go. Holy shit, it's so dumb I'm leaving. Alright. It's so dumb that even Kersey decided he wants to leave. Press the button, move it back, turn the knob, stop the knob, pull this out, press the button again. Please tell me that worked! Come on! What? Yes! Oh yeah. We got a first try! Wait, what? <laughs> and we're through. Wait. Oh, I thought I accidentally loaded a save. Wait, no! So I've got this channel points thing where if you watch my stream for long enough, you get the option to force my game into loading a save. And because of how hard it is to make saves on a toaster, this put me three levels back. Oh no! I, there's, there's no auto saves. I have to just play through it now. Yes! Okay! Woo! We got Hoopy! Come on. Hey! Cash. Hey people watching on YouTube, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, you really should consider it. This dude yep. makes some really good content. He has my endorsement. You know what? He's not wrong. You really should consider it. So this will require quite a bit of quick thinking. Here we go. Walk forward, pull this out, press the button, pull this back in, turn around. Holy shit, okay. Okay, that was kind of sick. And, and I'm, I, I've lost control. What's going on? No, stop turning left. No, no, what am I doing? Uh, 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 okay. It's been an hour and 40 minutes. God damn it, this is not going at any pace at all. Yeah, fuck it, after this level, we'll celebrate, we'll celebrate getting after, out of, uh, chapter two. And, um, I'll make some toast. <laughs> Here we go, see what happens. By now, you might be wondering, how is this even possible? How do you go from a standard kitchen appliance to a game controller? It's not like you could just plug it in through USB or something, so where's the magic? Well, it's really just simple robotics. A toaster has lots of separate moving parts, all with their own unique functions. For example, to detect the lowering of the bread, you could simply measure the distance the lever has traveled from the top of the toaster. And this really is as simple as it sounds. By using an ultrasonic distance sensor, we can use the speed of sound to calculate how far the lever is. And that's exactly what I did. Well, at least until the sensor broke and I had to replace it with some stupid button. Another cool example of clever sensor use is the crumb tray. 
you would think I would just have a button or another distance sensor or something, but I actually opted for a photo sensor, which basically triggers when it detects light. And since the inside of the toaster is very dark compared to the outside, this makes for a nice convenient way of detecting that. For the rest of the inputs, I either use simple push buttons or a circuit with tin foil and wires. Okay, ricochet! How the fuck are we doing this map? Um, walk forward. Here we go. Oh! Hey, let's fucking go! We didn't even need a straight! We didn't even need a straight! You notice how I saved there? So that's for this purpose here. Run for my life! Run for my life! Run for my life! Oh god! Oh, set up the portal shot thing! Fuck, shoot the portal! Fuck up! No, no, no! Okay, no, go right! Fuck! Ah! We went so optimized. I mean... We've been playing this for four hours. You, you like you better hope my movement's somewhat optimized. Everyone's playing video games with a toaster. That's like that's like all I see on Twitch. Yes! Fuck! Finally! Oh! Hey! Let's fucking go! Fucking! Finally! Okay. Triple laser. Guys! Guys! Something is wrong with my toaster. Do lasers? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we might do lasers. Hmm. All right, here we go. Laser switch glitch performed on a toaster. Are you happy? Oh god, oh god. Okay, easy. Totally not in the nick of time. Feels like we're so close though. Oh, we fucking gaming. Look at this shit. Yes. Oh, let's fucking go. Okay, now we're not doing lemonade. That's for sure. That would be just a jump straight from. Who wants to make sixty dollars cash? Do lemonade. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay, that looks good. This should be good. Okay. Oh. 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 oh let's fucking go. Holy shit! Wait, it worked. It fucking worked. Let's get some more velocity going, boys. Oh. God! Wait! We actually fucking got it! We did lemonade skip on a toaster! I knew you could fucking do it. You guys, fucking hit the like button. After actually pulling off the lemonade skip, I was ambitious enough to attempt the stock launch on three gels. But without the ability to strafe, we just couldn't get anywhere with it. So after finishing with the intended solution, we were now heading into chapter 8. With the introduction of the funnel. There we go. GG. I am. Um, I'm. I'm done. I'm done with this. I. No. No. I never want to see this toaster again. I never. Never want to see this toaster again.